Hey guys, so today I want to show you how to make a really simple reading area or lounge area for kids um, just using some old stuff that you may have lying around and some fabric. So what I used was I had some old pillows that I've been meaning to repurpose and some fabric and this old papasan chair that was once really cute but after just being sat in all the time it's just gotten really worn. So to start, I just took a really cute piece of fabric that you can buy at Joann's that's already pre-quilted and designed and you just push it all the way down and pin it down to the bottom so that it takes the shape of the chair. You're also going to want to pin up the sides just to make sure that it doesn't pop up anymore. And then you're going to cut the corners, this is a no-sew, and you just tie around the poles of each one and it's that simple. Um, just make sure you do all four and you can tuck the extras up inside and it's really super super simple and you can take it off and wash it if you need to and that is that so to make accent pillows i just used this old pillow that somebody gave us and this one's from joann's and this i think probably from like the dollar store even um and i just took some minky dot green fabric and you just cut squares that are the same size as your pillow um, and put right sides together and then you're to make an accent pillow with a cute bow I just took a piece of ribbon and cut it in half and pinned it to the inside of my fabric that I had and um, just make sure that you pin both sides and then to get the ribbon out of the way from when you're sewing just tie it into a bow so that way you can sew it into a square. You're going to sew your fabric around three sides and halfway through the other side or three quarters, just enough so that you can squeeze your pillow in and then close it up. You're going to sew by hand to close up your pillow and voila, you have a cute little reading nook that you can accessorize to match your living room or your kids room or pretty much anywhere in the house. Don't forget to subscribe guys because I've got a ton of DIY ideas for the new year and they will be coming out every Friday and watch our vlogs on Mondays. 